this heart, this heart of mine, this full of pipes and pumps, so much trust in things we can't see. As a child, I was sure my heart was doomed, like that of the tall, chiseled grandfather I knew only from photos because his own heart had rebelled against the pleas of his six daughters. But it hasn't failed me yet, this heart. Chambers pushing and sucking and soothing reply. This one's called Late Summer 05, age 32. I'm beginning to look dingy, no longer golden from the rays of summer, but sickly and green under, under the fluorescence here at work. My back is peeling and zits returning that the sun had healed and smoothed. I feel old and I want to be swimming again. In the water I am young, I am an athlete, my body is a sculpture. Here at the front desk with a tepid Pepsi and a stomach ache, I think about the cold returning too soon. St. Mary's Lobby. Sitting in the hospital with my pager. Cheerful folks pass me with a bouquet of lilies on their way to see a new mother and baby. But lilies are for the dead. Easter aside, that sickly sweetness evokes a, a nauseous echo of grief and loss. Their purple speckled sadness makes me turn away. Their waxen beauty like the faces of the dead. The odor lingers after they've descended the escalator with their huggies and their lilies, celebrating a new life with their flowers for the dead. The nautical room. They cleaned his room out right away. That was best, I know. If you wait too long, you get stuck and never move on. They left only the writing desk with his sketches, the obsessive bundles of flashcards, a few special oddities, chess trophy, ball cap, a small altar in a family where the altar mentality is taboo. I still like to sleep in there when I visit. It comforts me. But now no one will call it his room. They call it that room you're sleeping in. With each successive visit, I see a nautical theme emerging. Shockingly red sheets appear on the bed, then an anchor on the wall. The world map comes down. Finally, the walls change color, and by the next summer, the transformation is complete. Now they call it the nautical room, and this dulls the sting of his memory. For a while, the desk altar remained, but now that too is cleared. The sketches stored away in a drawer, the flashcards recycled. A figurine of a sailor in a yellow rain slicker now stands guard against the stagnancy of grief. When I sleep there now, I lie on my back in the dark and look up at the glow of the dark stars on the ceiling that they've forgotten to remove.